right, you might have received some amazing gifts this holiday season, but then there are those questionable presents. What do you do with those gifts that you just won't use? Regift, of course. So, with us now is etiquette expert Jacqueline Whitmore to break down the do's and don'ts of regifting. Educate me here because I've gotten some things in the past that I surely have never used. I think we all have, and I have five points that I like to tell people. First of all, you have to designate a space to keep all of these unwanted gifts. So if somebody invites you to a party and you need that last-minute gift, you can go to this space like a closet and get this gift and take it with you. Number two, rewrap the item. Make sure the seals are intact. Don't give something that has been used. Put it in a nice gift bag or wrap it in some great paper. And number three, don't re-gift in the same social circles. For example, <laughs> you Oops. never want to give a gift to a recipient who knows the person who gave you that gift. So you might want to tag that gift and say when you got it and whom, who gave it to you. Okay. And then know when you can't re-gift. In other words, don't give a gift just to give a gift. Sometimes if you have a tacky sweater or an old fruit cake, you have to dump it or donate it. <laughs> and finally, don't feel guilty. Let's face it, you're making somebody happy and you're saving money, well, and that's good business sense. Let's talk about some regifting things that shouldn't cause you too much hassle. For instance, wine. Uh, everyone, housewarming gift, just a simple gift that people give. Wine. You might have tons of wine around the house. Is there any problem saying grabbing a bottle that you were given as a gift to give to someone else? Well, you have to be careful with alcohol. First of all, you have to know that the person likes wine. Right. And the rule of etiquette is when you bring a bottle of wine to someone's home, don't expect them to open it. It's a gift. And so they can choose to open it whenever they want to. What about the, the bags that gifts come in? Fair to keep those and then reuse them? Just make sure that you take the card off that says to Adam or to whomever, you know, make sure you don't give them that card. But is it okay to reuse the gift bag? Oh, absolutely. I have loads of those gift bags. I think they're great. And save the bows, too, because you can reuse those. And finally, it, you know, when we talk about re-gifting, can you say, is it ever appropriate to say, listen, I love this so much, but I already have one, maybe a little white lie, and I wanted you to have it, so I'm passing this on to you. Could you do that? You said that very politely, and that's the key. Be diplomatic, be polite, but make sure the person will want it. Uh, I don't know if you ever knew Hazel uh, Novakowski down in uh, South Florida, but she was the etiquette teacher back when I was in uh, not high school, but before high school, middle school. So uh, she was the one who always said, be polite about it. Oh, good for you. You had a great etiquette teacher. Well, I didn't say I actually practiced it. Jacqueline, thank you very much. <laughs> I do, actually, but thank you. Thank you. All the best to you.